The truth is as important today or more important than it has ever been. The consequence for living lies in our personal lives, for governments, civilization. One of the biggest lies, and there are many, but one of the biggest, if not the biggest, is about climate change. Climate is something that affects every square inch of the planet and invades all of our lives. It has to do with nature, the atmosphere, the sun. It has very little to do with CO2, carbon dioxide. Here we are in June. It's almost summer and record cold is being recorded everywhere. Some places it's hotter than normal, but record colds are way ahead of record heat. The sun is, at, is diminishing in, in terms of its a- output. This is not a simple thing. It's not just the illumination of the sun, but the mag magnetic protection, cosmic rays, increased volcanic um, activity. A lot of things are contributing, including international air flights or national flights, putting pollution. Everything is leading to a dramatic cooling. Why does it matter? Is it just something that's uh, a war in, in the press, which has been putting out propaganda for global cooling, global warming for two decades. Well, <clears throat> the fact is it's cooling. It's a fact. Just even go to NASA or no, uh, NOAA, all the information, all the statistics are le- showing cooling, cooling. This year, dramatic cooling, but it's been a trend for the last few years. And one of its biggest consequences is that the growing season has been shortening. Last year, the snow started at the end of the summer in the United States. It's been snowing recently in certain places. It's been cold. We just had Memorial Day weekend in the United States. And it was cold. 20, in some places, 30 degrees below normal. But what I really want to talk about is the bottom line consequence is food. Nobody, nobody will deny that food prices are skyrocketing. Month after month after month, we have 10 months, I guess I believe it's 10 months of consecutive increases. A lot of people on the planet cannot afford these increases. They don't have extra money. So they're eating less. Quality of food consumption and nutrition is going down. Some people have enough money to keep buying food no matter what the price is. But these people are in the minority. Now, what is causing food prices to go up? Well, it's several factors. And I'll be publishing an essay. This this video will go with an essay about all the different information. Cold and extra snow is cutting down agricultural production. China is buying up everything they can to feed their their not only their animals but their people. And, but that's not the only problem. Because of climate change or regular cycles of climate, we have incredible dryness in certain places. California is it's an emergency there. Brazil is having a, dry, a hard time with dryness. Our coffee prices are going to go up. I mean, we're, Brazil is one of the breadbaskets of the world. We're going to have a lot of trouble soon. And yet the lies of politicians, CEOs of the digital companies, 
the media, they're all conspiring to just continue. They can't say we're wrong. You don't hear politicians saying we're wrong. So they go over a cliff and take everybody with them because prices are going up. And one of the reasons is climate change. And it's going to get worse. And the government is not doing anything about it. They're planning for the wrong thing, the wrong global warming. When it's cooling, it's a disaster. Truth. It's not an opinion. Truth has nothing to do with opinions. It just is. Gravity is. It's truth. It's gravity exists. It is. You don't have to believe in it. I can go on and on about it on this line, but just trying to put out that this situation, and it's not just climate, this whole vaccine question, truth. What's the truth? What is this pro-vaccine, anti-vaccine? A vaccine is either dangerous or it's not. It's killing people or it's not. Sure, in the press, at a politician's mouths, you get different things, but there's a truth. And the truth is you look in the vaccine reporting systems in Europe and the United States, and you'll see how many people are reported dead from COVID vaccines. It's been on Fox News, the question, how many people are dying? It's becoming mainstream. This whole question, Dr. Fossey, truth or a liar? Well, he's proving to be a liar. Very dangerous one. Bill Gates, he wants to block the sunlight and make it cooler on a cooling planet. Very intelligent person. What's the truth? The truth is important. The truth is self-evident if you look, if you listen to all the information that's being presented. Not just what the media is saying or even governmental agencies are saying. Governments know how to lie. It's been built into the cake for decades. It's a habit. But for survival in the future, each of us as an individual, a family level, small community level, we have to tune ourselves to reality. The truth is found in reality. Reality is the truth. So cling to it, listen to it. If you like this video, please give it a like. Take a look. If you have any comments, please look, put, put your comments below. Go to my site, Dr. I have two sites that I publish my climate information. DrCircus.com, D-R-S-I-R-C-U-S, and Cold Climate Change. I'm um, not sure if it's, uh, we'll, we'll write it down about, about, I don't know if it's info or .com. I've been writing about climate change since 2009, where after a year of investigating and looking and studying, I came to the conclusion, conclusion that it's cold climate change. It was evident back then. Evident enough for me to risk my reputation for all these years and look what's happening. Exactly what the scientists, astrophysicists, real climate scientists have been saying. Now it's here. The cold at the end of the spring is not because of global warming. 